guys, this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter, and I am super excited for this week's tutorial. I'm working with the awesome people from Blizzard to honor the new expansion pack on Hearthstone, the Grand Tournament. If you guys don't know what Hearthstone is, it is one of the most awesome online games that I've played. It's really easy to figure out, but quite difficult to master. If you're still not sure what Hearthstone is, wait until the end of the video. I will give you guys a lot more information about it and how to add me. And so for this week's tutorial to honor the Grand Tournament, you guys will learn how to make your very own shield and lance magnet. You can definitely turn this into a pin, earrings, a necklace, a pendant, anything that you want. I really love how it turned out, especially the wood texture, as well as the pearlex powders that make the metallic pieces stand out a lot more. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. And if you enjoyed this project, remember to like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. It's true. Here's what you'll need for this project. Gold, silver, light brown, dark brown, and fuchsia polymer clay. All of these are from Sculpey. Silver and gold pearlex powders. If you don't have pearlex, you can also use metallic paints two already pre-baked brown pieces of clay. This is going to be for the handle of the lance, rounded and pointy tools, cutters. If you want to make this into a pin, you need a bar pin. And if you want to make this into a magnet, all you need is a piece of magnet. You'll also need a printout of the shape of the shield. The first thing we're going to do is take our light brown clay, flatten it out, not too thin, and then you're going to cut out the shape of the shield. To make the wood texture, you're going to take your cutter and make some indents and some lines for the boards. Once you have that, you're going to take your gray clay, flatten it out much thinner than your brown, and then you're going to cut out the inside shape of the design. If you have liquid Sculpey, go ahead and put a little bit on top, and then place it on the wooden part. Make sure you do some textures and cracks on the silver part. Once the gray is down, take your gray Perlex powder and dust it right on top. That's going to give it a nice metallic sheen. Equally with the gray clay, we're going to cut out the iconic shape for Hearthstone. Place it right in the middle. Take your gold clay and you're going to make small balls and put them where the designs are. I'm working from the reference picture. And now take your gold perlex and put it right on top of those little balls. Now for the lance handles, you're just going to take your pre-baked sticks, roll out a thin sheet of your dark brown, cut a really small strip out of it, and then you're going to wrap it around. That's just going to give it the extra detail. Before we go on any further, we're going to bake our pieces for 15 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. This way we're sure that the shield will not come apart. Here they are all baked. Now for the lances, what we're going to do is we're going to take our gold clay and then make a dent into it. You can use a popsicle stick or even your fingers for that. Roll out a piece of gold, put it as the trim. Now take your handle and put a gold tip at the bottom. Decorate that as well. Now you're going to take your gold again and roll it out into a pointy stick. Use a pointy tool to help you make that tip. And now you're going to place it in the back. Now you're going to do the exact same thing for the second one, except we're not going to make it a full stick since we want it to be even in the back. Now you're going to place it. And don't worry too much about what it looks like in the back because we're going to be covering that up with the ribbon. For the ribbon, you're going to take your fuchsia, roll it out really thin and really long. Make little triangles at the tip. If you want, go ahead and put a little bit of a border just to give it a little more something to look at. And now you're going to place it in the back. Having liquid Sculpey does help, so if you have it, go ahead and use it. It just acts as a really good glue. And make sure you give it a lot of bends and swivels because it looks a little more flowy. Now you're going to bake these one last time for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven was preheated. Once it's out of the oven, the option is entirely up to you, but you can take some black paint that is watered down and put it inside the crevices. This will give it a more antique and darker kind of feel. 
And then you can go ahead and glue either your pin or your magnet right in the back. All done! How Hearthstone work is that there are different classes that you can play that have very specific cards to them. Some of my favorites are Warrior, Hunter, and Shaman. What I really love about this game is that at first they really guide you through a tutorial, so it's so easy to get the hang of it. While you play the cards, you have different monsters and demons that battle one another. It's so fun. So if you don't have too many friends on there just yet, you can still battle people online. And it's totally random and they place you with people with your skill level. So the games are kind of more fair. This game is just so full of surprises because also each week they have a tavern brawl that is so random and I love random things. Make sure you try the tavern brawl as well. Also the game is free so you really don't have to put any money whatsoever. If you want new packs they give you a chance every day to gain points to be able to get your card packs for free. And the environments in this game are totally interactive so you can play around and unlock different reactions. So go ahead and click away. I am pretty click happy. So if you guys want to add me, this is my username. And I'll try to be online at least once a week on it and I will add you guys and hopefully I can get a chance to play. But please do be patient because if I do get a lot of requests, I might not be able to play everyone on the same day. When I'm on that account, I will let you guys know on Instagram, Facebook and on Twitter. So make sure that you add me on at least one of these social media. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Until then, I will see you guys 